18 years old and already on the big stage of the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes, it's my, it was my first competition and festival ever. And I managed to pass not only to the final, but actually win the Maltese Euro Song, which is great. <laughs> When I was a, uh, a girl, a young girl, there, I had a lot of people trying to stop me from uh, reaching my dream and telling me that you'll never manage, you're not good enough. So I, uh, I showed them that uh, I actually could reach my dream and uh, that's why I wanted to a song to also, um, as I said, encourage kids and other people to uh, run after their dreams because uh, even though people can stop you, you can always, also, always manage. <laughs> You were born on a very special day, <laughs> tell me. Well, I was born exactly when they announced that uh, Mary Spiteri, the Maltese 1992 winner, got, was, um, uh, what, uh, they, uh, when they announced that she was the winner, I was born. <laughs> so I was destined for Eurovision. Can you remember us the song? Of course, I know the song. My life today and leave the past behind. Live it all day by day, and surely you may find. Um, yesterday, you gave me some homework. You gave me a, DVD, a CD with um, with some songs, and I listened in my car and. There was the song of last year from Sweden and I was very impressed and, and it was very beautiful. We're going to listen to it now. Is this your style of music? Is that the music you like? Yes, uh, actually La Voix was a style, of, a song which I really, really enjoy doing. I'm very comfortable singing high songs, higher songs, because uh, I studied classical and operatic singing for the past 12 years now. And uh, my dream was a challenge for me, which I really enjoyed doing. I mean, I had to adapt my voice, you know, for this type of song. I never sang in that style before, and I, it was a, a great challenge for me, and I really enjoyed doing it, even though it's not my genre of singing. You are always with the birds, isn't it? My bird, yes, I left my bird in Malta. <laughs> I gave him a break. <laughs> but he will be in Oslo. Yes. He will be with you on stage then? Of course, I wanted to uh, to uh, bring up the package that uh, the, the, the Maltese viewers voted for. It won't be fair that they vote for something and you t take up something completely different. And uh, I wanted to keep everything simple and as it was. I mean, I was very happy with it, with how it was. <laughs> you have your dress already? My dress. I had my first fitting the day before I came to Belgium, so it's still in the making. <laughs> and you were happy with it? Yes, I designed it again. The first dress I designed as well. Yeah, the first dress I wore, I designed. And the second one is also in my hands. And also the dresses of the backing vocals, I, I designed as well. So You're very creative then. I try my best. <laughs> Are you nervous? Well, obviously. I mean, if you ask anyone in front of all those people and experience like this, you can't not be a little bit nervous. But uh, obviously, I'm trying to keep my nerves down. I want to. Uh, I want to do well. <laughs> my first time, and I want to do well. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw when you you were sitting in the restaurant and you were sitting next to Neam Kavanagh and you were <gasps> very happy to see, excited to see her. Why? I didn't recognize her. I mean, as I said, I'm a, I'm a very big Eurovision fan. And when I saw her, I was like, she's changed so much. And I was like, oh, you're the Irish singer. Can I have your autograph? I mean, it's such, so amazing to meet a winner. I never met a, a winner before and she was my first one. So even more, I was even more excited to see her. Did you like her winning song? Of course. I mean, it's a style that I really, really like. That, 
that style of song and obviously even the song she has this year just amazing just they just give me goosebumps songs like that give me goosebumps Actually, it's the Irish song this year, which really amazed me. As I said, it's a style that I really like. And when I heard the song, I was like, oh, I hope she wins. I hope she wins. <laughs> she, it's amazing. And she's such a nice woman. And that, I think that's my favorite. I didn't listen to them all. I have to admit, I, I didn't have time to roam around. I would, I would have loved to have more time because every year I listen to them all before they're even heard. <laughs> but uh, from the very, very few I heard, uh, she's one of my favorites. I do have more, but she's one of my favorites. I work with kids in a kindergarten school, yes, and also I work as a makeup artist, so till, uh, till I get to where I want with singing, uh, I'll keep on doing that, but uh, obviously my aim is to continue singing and maybe West End, maybe uh, more uh, become a successful or famous singer, you know, I'll just live day by day and see what comes along, which door opens first, I'll just walk along out. But as a singer, is Malta big enough for you? Exactly, that's, that's I think the only disadvantage in Malta, as I said I love Malta and we have everything, but unfortunately uh, there are not that much opportunities for singers there, so I'll have to either move or I don't know, <laughs> we'll see about that, I don't know yet. <laughs> Then from Malta, I like Little Child, uh, Keep Me In Mind, the 1995 one, um, uh, and the Angel, I also like a lot. I think those three are my favorites, yeah, Keep Me In Mind, Little Child and Angel. And did Chiara, for example, she gives you some good advices? Chiara was the first uh, winner that, even during uh, my rehearsal, she waited for me uh, backstage and she's like, where were you? I don't know who you are. Where did that voice come from? And I was honored. I mean, she, the only, that simple comment boosted me up coming from Chiara. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> why, why will they vote for your song? Well, <laughs> that's a bit of a tricky question. Hopefully they like uh, they like the song as a song and not only because of uh, unfortunately a lot of the viewers each year vote because of the country because of the show because of how beautiful the singer looks hopefully they'll vote for the song this year and hopefully they like it and maybe they'll vote but you have a good song you are beautiful and you have a big bird on stage so bird <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see I mean it's it's up to them that's amazing.